Welcome back, everyone. My name is Eltamar, and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 3. Where we left last time, we were in the sewers. I actually did some inventory management between videos. We are now a little bit better off. We still have a lot of books to read, like way too many books to read. I also changed some of our equipment a little bit around, but nothing substantive. Let's go look around some more. So we did find a body down here, or we found, I guess, more accurately, doppelgangers that we turned into bodies down here. There's a thing called Cave Mouth. There's also something up there I want to check really quickly. Let's go take a quick look. There's clearly more to this path that leads off into whatever's over here. Might be where they were living. It looks kind of like a bunkhouse over there, or maybe like a... a something. Definitely somebody was camping here, but now they're all dead. This letter in, is written in the careful but erratic hand of a newly learned writer. Mum says I need to say thank you more, so thank you. Thank you for telling off that nasty woman who's shouting all those nasty things at me. That's three times I've wrote thank you. Now four. So I think my mum will be happy. One more thing, did you see my teddy anywhere? I think I dropped it during all the shouting. You look like you're like... 20 years old. Why do you have a teddy? Not saying you can't, just... It's just kind of weird that you're writing like a five-year-old. Please, Father Lorgan, Rector Yanis, if you have any food to spare, our stomachs yowl at night like kicked dogs. Carrots, apples, we'll even crunch an onion if that's what you got. Yours, Thuldra Thuldrin. Do we think that any of these people want to talk to us? Let's talk to the dead child, I guess. Corpse does not respond. Okay, not looking to talk to us. Got it. All right, let's leave. Not too concerned about that. Just uh, wanted to see if anything. Oh wait, there's backpacks in there. Hang on. There could be loot. They're not using it. They're dead. Actually, uh, yeah. There's traveler's and? chest and at least two backpacks that I could see. One whole. Well, the potion's nice, at least. What is that? They had a scroll of Circle of Death? That's quite a scroll for just a random bunch of refugees. That could kill a good chunk of citizens. They're all standing close together. There's definitely a really cool looking river down there, but nothing exciting. There is... Cloud kill down there. That's interesting. Is there anything of note there that we need that's not full of cloud kill? Doesn't really look like it. So let's leave. Let's make sure our characters go the right way and don't run through the cloud kill. We'll take the door, because I don't actually remember where it goes. Cave mouth. And inside the cave mouth is... Oh right, this leads out to sort of below the area we were just at. So we came out here. There's ways to go from here, but we're going to go back up. There's much more, there's many more things to do over this way. So we're going to head back up to the top. Way to walk up. Although we should be finding the vampire hunters here soon. I think they're over here. Maybe a little higher up, but somewhere over in this sort of region. There's a survival check here. Whoa, 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 everyone. Slow your roll. What's this? Interesting. I don't think I've been here. I don't remember this at all. There's definitely some people in here. Grave robbers, it looks like. Probably gonna fight us. The boss is expecting you. 
hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, is this the this is the deep gnomes? Okay, this is gonna be wool. Whatever his name is. Where is he? He's gotta be here somewhere. Possibly over here. There's Barkus Root. And there's Wolbrin Bungle. Need a word. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet. I, mean, a I little. spent a lot of time thinking of worst case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you. I hope. I am with you. Good. We don't have a chance unless we stick together. Not while the Gondian's metal monsters are patrolling the streets. The Steel Watch, they're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change, freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. Personally, I put a lot of the blame on Gortash. A tyrant's nothing without lackeys. And the Gondians are the perfect lackeys. Dangerously intelligent, pathetically submissive. They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the watchers are on us like flies on shit. What was the plan? Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. Is it a bomb? A broom powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility and boom. Problem solved. Wolbrin, please. This is too far. Everyone in the foundry would be killed. Quiet, Barkus. The adults are talking. Damn. Maybe the Gondians are victims, not oppressors. The Gondians picked their side the minute they took orders from Gortash. If they had any courage, they'd have refused him and died like heroes, spitting in his face. Now they'll die like the dogs they are. I'll make contact with the Gondians. Maybe they'll see reason. That's what I've been saying. There may yet be a peaceful solution. Fine. You want to try flapping your gums in the belly of the beast? Be my guest. But their idea of diplomacy is a steel fist shoved where the sun don't shine. So take the bomb. Just in case I'm right and you're wrong. You got it. Fine, I'll take it, but I'll only use it as a last resort. As long as you see sense, I don't care when you see it. The foundry is in the lower city, down by the docks. Beautiful building, belching smoke into the sky day and night. Getting inside won't be easy, but when you do, place the bomb at the heart of the facility. Get yourself back to street level. The streets will be clear of watchers in no time. 
Alrighty. What does the rune powder bomb do exactly? It does a lot of damage. It's gonna go in our satchel. No time to rest. For use against Raphael. I'm actually a little concerned that if we throw this near Raphael, it'll blow up the room that we're in, but we'll find out. Light on my feet. Now, Barkus Root is here, and he is a store. I'm just gonna well, quickly take a look at what well, he has. Well. Can't remember if he has anything Listen. good. He might have bombs. A rune powder bomb. Huh. What the devil has he become? He's become a terrorist. That's pretty much where we're at. Can I buy these, please? Thank you. Uh, what else does he have? Gloves of the automaton, acrobat boots, a ring. Nothing else I really want, right? Buying more bombs. I think there's more to this than meets the eye. You'll hear no argument on that score. But using rune powder on the Gondians. They are inventors, just like us. The snickety and self-important too. But we all have our moments. Something is wrong. Very wrong. Please. Speak to them before you do anything. They deserve a chance to plead their case before being blown to pieces. Don't Probably, yes. Yes, I agree. All right, I'll speak to them. That's all I ask. Thanks. Questions first, violence later. And only if absolutely necessary. Well, we use violence pretty regularly to get our way, to be honest. There's another store here. It's like a... Bump Nagel is the store? You think I want my clan facing down one of those walking death machines with cutlery? Then leave me to my work. Aren't you a store? Only if you're quick. Okay, what does he have? Never actually seen his store. Well, he's got lots of bombs. We're going to buy all of those. I need them. Flash Blinder. Blinds a target. Whatever. Martial Exertion Gloves. What do those even do? They give Martial Exertion. Push past your physical limits, taking 3 to 36 piercing damage to gain an additional attack per turn and to double your movement speed once per short rest. It's actually pretty nice. Nimble Fingers. Gnomes are given plus 2 dexterity. Dwar Halflings and Dwarves get plus 1 dexterity. You get plus 1 sleight of hand. Thunder Palm Strikers. Your... Unarmed attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 thunder damage. That blood? What are you using? No. You're using the dex gloves. Plus 1 attack too is pretty useful. I don't think that's going to be as good. I don't see anything else I really want. I mean, the the uh, thunder palm strikers are pretty good if you're making like an no, elemental maybe. unarmed build. It'd be pretty great actually. But we're not, and so we're not. Where does this lead exactly? Where is this in relation? No keyhole, though. Who gives? Okay, we don't know where it goes because we can't find our way there. But that's okay. We can just leave out the cave entrance. I would actually love a house inside of a a mountain like this. It would be so cool. I'd be a little worried about the moisture, though. But I mean, if you're make it well enough. I saw, I was watching, what was I watching? Some sort of like caving video. But anyways, there's a recommendation after the caving video that uh, showed this Airbnb that's in the, like in the bottom of like an old mine. And it was so cool. I was totally down to try it out. It's a, uh, it's a little bit of a journey. It's probably expensive. And I didn't see a whole lot of availability on Airbnb, but, and I'm also really kind of anti Airbnb to be completely fair. Mostly because where I live is it ludicrously expensive as a result of it, at least partially. Um, no, courier ski. But anyways, long story short, there's a whole like Airbnb at the bottom of this mine and it looks really cool and fun to stay at. Let's go talk to the hunters. They're over here. We don't have a stereo in our group, so we're not going to have a big issue with them, I don't think. Who do we want to talk to? Gandril, I guess? Welcome, friend. 
you find us on a solemn day. Why, what happened? We underestimated an enemy. Frey, Valdisk Durovna. Frey, Valdisk Ablast. Our tribe left camp on a rescue mission. Only Alma and those you see here returned. Did they save whoever they set out to rescue? They could not. Im Orak Nete Grasin Netra. I will say no more. It's not my tale to tell. No. That shame is mine alone. We would not normally tolerate outsiders at a time like this. At a time like what exactly? You find us honoring our dead. Celebrating those who fell in battle trying to save our tribe. Yeah, there it does look bad. There is doom in the air these days. But welcome news too. Word has reached me that the undying Ketheric Thorm is destroyed. That was me. And if whispered tales can be believed, he was defeated by one looking much like you. Yes, I killed Ketheric. Hmm. A fine trophy. Perhaps you would like to claim another. Perhaps. What did you have in mind? Baldur's Gate is haunted by many things, but one of its most insidious is the vampire Cazador. For years, his foul spawn have stolen away innocents at night, whisking them back to his palace. Recently, they struck our camp. They took our children, every last one. Our whole future. We are monster hunters all. Our purpose is to kill beasts like these. But in our haste to save our little ones, we were rash. We charged straight into an ambush. They tore us to pieces. Vampire spawn and werewolves. I have never seen a vampire's lair so heavily guarded. What's left of my tribe is wounded and broken. We cannot stand against him to save our children. But perhaps the Slayer of Ketherick could. I'll do whatever I can. If you do this, our entire tribe will be in your debt. On our honor, it will be repaid. May the gods keep you and damn your enemies. You didn't want to give us any more intel other than go to the palace and save him? Okay, well. Wasn't... Gandril a store? We can do nothing for you here. Apparently not. No one else is like a quartermaster or It is good to have you with us. There is something rotten at the heart of this city. And it needs purging. So that's a no to stores then? We can do nothing for Okay, fine. Maybe there's somebody in the building that's the store? Nope, that's definitely gonna get me in trouble if I try and go in. How about you? Our dead fought well. They died well. I hope I can live up to their example. Hmm, alright. Well, we are almost come or we have almost come full circle. It's almost time to go fight the mind player in the basement of the tower. In fact I think it is time to do that. I'm pretty sure we've done everything else up to here. We should also go into Sword Coast Couriers. The brain is making the wiggles again. We don't have a key, but we don't need a key. We're very good at lockpicking. And way down we go. There's a mind flare sleeping right there. Final warning, what does that say? This is a note demanding that the miller pay off his debt lest his creditors oust him and claim the mill for themselves. I think we can talk to the mind flare. We'll see what it says. Utilize the unconscious body of a mind flare. Probably going to attack us. Unattended. How fortunate. It doesn't feel very fortunate. Oh, but it is. 
This one has only just transformed. It is weak, vulnerable. Its potential ripe for harvesting. Go on, kill it. Absorb its power. All right, let's kill it before it wakes up. It woke up. What? No, I've had so little time. Your sister tech before it got up, but I guess that wasn't the case. Then again, Karlak might just kill it. The creature was born recently. It's Karlak kills things so fast when she has advantage. Its potential, if you consume it. Advantage on insight checks. Cool. And a windmill key and a mind flare brain. And an order is what's it say? True soul, Alan. Alien? Your time has come. The absolute calls to all faithful, and you have been faithful indeed. Leave your barracks, leave your armor, leave all insignia of rank behind. You're part of the Flaming Fist no longer. You've been a loyal soul or true soul, but you will soon be so much more. You will be one of us. Well, these boots have seen mind flared. We need a lot more experience to gain a level, unfortunately. But I think we're kind of done in this little area for now. Let's head to down, or I guess north, towards the flop house and, um, well, let's go to the courtier, or the, uh, Sword Coast courtiers, yeah. Wait, it's not couriers, not courtiers. I was like, wait a minute. I don't know if they'd put a, a house of ill repute into the game. I mean, they probably would, to be honest. Larian doesn't seem like they care too much about offending people. There's nudity allowed in the game, and there is quite a lot of swearing, honestly. Let's go into the courier place. We have key. Stalmane is dead. A new face. This does not bode well. Don't be shy. Let's talk to Danzo. Welcome to Sword Coast Couriers. To send and to serve. Delivery not guaranteed. <laughs> Wait, delivery not guaranteed? Well, we've had to change the policy. Hard to send letters by road when there's a rampage and army of fanatics bearing down on you. I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? Any idea where the birds went missing? Not the foggiest. Normally they fly true as an elven arrow. Something nearby is snatching them. I can tell you that much. I could... I'd be happy to take a look. Well, uh... If it's not too much trouble, uh, I'd be much obliged. Any letters you find, bring them back to me. Unopened, of course. And there's some gold in it for you. Alright, well we can help with that, I think. We also have a key to somewhere. It's a robbery if we take that backpack, so we're not going to. Let's go upstairs, though. There's a courier. A level... Wait, what are these? These are all pigeons. Let's see if we can speak to animals on these things. Up you go. Name and rank, quickly now. There's a war on. Against the absolute? I know I'm fighting in it. The absolute, poppycock. Enemy propaganda designed to confuse simple minds. <laughs> Not your fault you fell for it. <laughs> you need a strong leader like myself to see the wood under the trees. I am Commander Lightfeather. Leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Chionfa. State your purpose, Groundwalker. I don't have all day. I hear some of your uh, officers have gone missing recently. What happened to them? Oh, uh, damned awful business. Fine flyers, a lot of them. Gone without a trace. Intelligence is in short supply, but we know our enemies flanked us on the west side, not one rooftop away. We're avoiding the whole area. 
I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. If you pass that way, beware the sign of the featherless wings. From that rooftop, none return. I do kind of like how the birds are like a British World War I aerial regiment. It's pretty interesting. Anyways, we need to get to the roof of the temple up here. Where to? I know where this is going down. I don't know if I can get up. Oh, I can get up there. How do we get up there? I guess I'm just going to walk right in. That's a lot of blood on the table. Why is there so much blood on that one particular table? Did I click somewhere by accident? Guys, I need you to get up here. I don't know how you're getting there, but... Go path away. You can see all the dead pigeons up here. I actually don't know where my group has gone now. Oh, they kind of stopped. Okay, they're moving again. I don't fully understand where they're going here. It's the Elder Brain. There's something happening to it. Oh, I see. There's a there's a way up here. I gotcha. And there's of course press him here. Does this cut belong to Gail? I'd love to, thanks. Go hey. talk to the cat thing. Tara! That can't be you, can it? My, is that a ring? For us? Oh, you shouldn't have. Enjoy yourself now, Tara. Looks like you've got yourself set up quite nicely here. Gail, she's been eating those missing courier pigeons. Tell her to stop. Oh, right. Did you hear that, Tara? Um, stop it. Oh, she's agreed. Just about. There's a bundle of letters we can grab as well. We might as well do that. Postmaster shipment inquiry. We should read that. For the special and direct attention of Roa Moonglow only. Look, Roa, you city zen have always been consummate professionals to me, so I don't understand why the Joaquin's arrest cell is so useless. I was supposed to receive several items from them a few days ago, but I heard absolutely nothing. Could you put out some feelers? Zerus doesn't answer to my correspondence anymore. Denzo. I take that with me too. And then we gotta go down, all the way down. I think we fought our first Steel Watcher around here. It looks very familiar anyways. Lots of guards. Are you guys not coming down anymore? No? All the rest of my group are just up there. Okay. Well, fine. Whatever. I don't need them down here. I don't suppose you've, uh, stumbled across those letters yet? I found the letter intended for the Zentarum. It made for a very interesting read. You... you read it? Technically, that's interfering with someone else's property. I should report you to the nearest manip. Tell you what. Give it here, and we'll say no more about it. I'll give you a nice little bonus as well. A, a finder's fee. What do you say? Hmm, no thanks for keeping the letter. Bloody arse rat. Fine. Keep it. Much good it'll do you. 
Go on. Get out of my post house. We're closed. Wait, I found your other letters too, though. Clear off. Oh. Well, he's mad about that. I can understand that. The rest of our group members. Uh. That was actually really impressive. Our character just jumped down. Alright, so our first Steel Watcher is there, and it's gonna suck. Unfortunately, we need to get our other people down here. And they have decided to jump down like idiots. Instead of going back around the other way. Fine, whatever. At the very least, we can just heal them. Shadowheart, you might as well jump down too. That took way more damage. She took way more damage than I thought she would. We'll just quickly do a healing spell. No big deal. Everyone's healed up more or less. Let's group up and uh, deal with the Steel Watcher, I guess. Gortash. Refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. I am not a refugee. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? I can take care of myself. Right. Fine. Article 30.1.5 of the Council's decree on extraordinary wartime measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? My name is Carlac. Well met, citizen. Your parasite stirs. From the construct you feel connection. Resonance. Can I go now? Not just yet. State your business. Random sneezes. I guess it's allergy time of the year, but whatever. Um, Baldur's Gate is my home. Uh huh. Eyes open, body still. Do as she says. Behind the watcher's gaze, a presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Your infernal machinery seems to snap to attention, almost singing in recognition. Your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare, as witnessed by the cult's ever alert, scrying eyes. It has heard the howls of slaughtered goblins. It has seen the deep shadows of Grimforge and the stone floors left bloodied. It knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers and the cultists who fell there. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. A defective Steel Watcher. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the Absolute. Come quietly, or die. Why do you call me a Steel Watcher? I'm not one of you. There is a moment's pause. The presence re-evaluates you. Apologies, citizen. No offense intended. Welcome to Baldur's Gate. I hope you have a nice day. The Watch has spoken. You may pass. Eat this, you pile of junk! Is it going to blow up? No, apparently not. But that was cool. Alright, let's move on. We didn't have to fight it, which is interesting. We'll kill it later, probably. It is... Well, it's not an evil creature, necessarily. It's just... Not good, either. There's a store. Does the fishmonger have bombs? Finest fish caught this morning. What'll it be? 
You don't have bombs. Come back soon. Fresh I unfortunately don't need the fresh fish. Let's go into this house, I suppose. The flop house. In Victoria or Vancouver, this house would be like... With a view like this, probably thousands a month. Like three grand a month. Let's take a look inside. So it looks like it's a two bedroom plus bathroom, one bath, two bedroom, one bath with the downstairs. And the downstairs has a fairly sizable living room. This must be like six grand a month, probably. Easy. Probably way more, honestly. Well, maybe not, but. With actually with that view, yeah, definitely. I don't think we're on the red side, though. I think we go... Where's the flop house? I think it might be up here. No, that's the, the caress. Alright, let's go look around to this area. Let's, uh... Right, there might be a ladder. I think there's a ladder up to the roof. That's what we need to go up. Yeah, this is where we want to be. That key was from the shifters. How deep does this go? Blood. We found things. A blood-stained note. Two hands now. Two hands. Two of them. More needed. Not enough. Must cover myself in glory to be covered in blood. More. Bunch of scrolls for Gale. Not going to read the book. Traveler's chest, which is some toxin for Carlac. Arsenic oil and some other toxins. Bloodstained parchment. Let's read that. Oops. Let's read that. Messy splatters of deep red brown adorn this scrap of parchment. Those wishing to face the Dreadlord's tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal must slay the targets on this list and frame the corpses as a murder by the cult of the Absolute. Bring the victim's hand as proof of the killing. Walk in blood, aspirant. Duke Belain Selmain, he's already dead. Father Lorgan, already dead. Dribbles the Clown, already dead. Alexander Rainforest, already dead. Frank Pear Tree, already dead. Cora Highbury, not dead. Figaro Pennygood, not dead. Chef Rover, Robier, not dead either. Nisha Leisha, sorry, Nesha. Maybe Nisha. I don't know, Alicia. Blushing Mermaid, not dead. Very Van Themper. Van Themper. Not dead. Fritic Hewn, also not dead. We need to find these people and save their lives. Temple Plans, Torn Parchment. Nothing else of note. However, there is Scarlet Light or Scarlet Leather Armor. I don't know if we need that or not. But we'll keep it anyways, just in case. Actually, let's go back in one sec. There's also a torn parchment, which might be readable. This letter is torn and stained, and some of the words are indecipherable. Take the... find the... V make offerings in his name. Bring the... to try... prove your worth. Become of the highest accord. Try to become a chosen of ball. Basically is what it boils down to. We're going to stop them, but not in this video. In the next video, perhaps. For now, I'm going to leave you all here. I'm going to talk to some of these people. I'm not sure if they are part of this circumstance, but I don't think so. Now, what do you reckon, lass? You trust these steel watcher thingamajigs? I trust them about as far as I can throw them. Oi, I'll second that. It's all right where well, we can get work repairing them, but what happens when they build something else to do that? Uh, it's no good, I tell you. That's probably true. I don't think these people are in on it. Although Deliria is a high level. One more mark. Then we can go. Listen in.
Should have used guidance, but oh well. The master said we have enough. The black mass is ready to begin. It's not for the master. It's for me. I want a beating heart there, ready for me when the mass is complete. And we're finally granted our freedom. After 200 years of rats, I think we deserve a real drink. There is no time. We are expected back at the palace. Relax. The Black Mass won't start until Master drags Astarian from whatever hole he's hiding in. We have time to find one more person. You know Astarian? Wait. You know Astarian? Where is he? Well, tell us! Somewhere you and your master will never find him. <laughs> you don't know what my lord is capable of. You don't know his power. This is not the time, brother. The master must be told. <sighs> Fine. But this isn't over. Why are we letting them leave? We'll see you again. Oh. They used some bloodbending and teleported away. I should have just shot him in the face to start with. Oh well, too late now. Anyways, I'll leave you guys here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Now there's a see you next time. We will go meet the Hierophant, the worst character in the game, who honestly I'm going to have trouble not killing. Even as a good, good playthrough because they're just the worst. Anyways, take care. See you next time.